Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am Sus <laughs> I'm Susie Artistry. I am Susie Artistry. No, I'm Candace Claiborne, and uh, this is part three of the mini series that I've been doing. And if you have not seen the first two parts, then be sure to click the link here and here and be sure to check it out in the description box in case you're watching this on your cell phone or tablet and you can't click in the screen. Um, so this is part three of functions of the heart and this part is really, really more practical. It's really, really more practical. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to uh, keep watching if you wanna see how to make these functions of the heart more practical in your life. All right, and I wanted to be very practical in reminding you about some things. If you don't already know, then this these are some basic scriptures that I think are really, really helpful regarding your heart. In Proverbs chapter three, verse five, this is a very um, encouraging scripture, and it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. That means that every place in your heart, every nook and cranny, the places that you treasure, the places that have been captured, the places that you are really giving just everything to, he says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. We don't know it all. Isaiah 55 says that God's ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. You know, who are we that we think that we can understand everything? And so because of that, we're encouraged in this Bible uh, scripture to trust in the Lord with all our heart and to lean not on our own understanding. The other scripture that really encourages me is out of Psalm 139. And I love this scripture because it kind of keeps me in check. And it's Psalm 139 verse 23 and it says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. The heart and the mind are connected and it is my deepest desire for God to search me to search my heart because sometimes we are not honest with ourselves and sometimes there are things in our hearts that we've put away or that we've forgotten about and they need to be exposed they need to be dealt with and so that's my prayer as I read the scripture, and I hope it's you guys. There's one thing that I think um, that many people desire, and I know it's a deep desire of mine, and that is to know and to be known. And I believe it's to know God and to be known by God, and to know others and to be known by them. That is a deep desire. And the fact that we can communicate with our Heavenly Father, the God who created the universe, and we can ask him to search our heart and to know our thoughts. That's helpful because we don't have to, you know, sometimes you don't have a person that you can go to and share with. And sometimes there are thoughts and there are things in your heart that you haven't even sorted out yourself. But God is a God of love and he is a, a father who loves you and who's there for you, who you can say, God, search my heart and know my thoughts. The second area that I want to encourage us to really be uh, conscious of is another um, proverb that reads, and this is Proverbs 4.23, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for out of it flows the springs of life. Other versions say to guard your heart, for out of it flow the issues of life. Guarding your heart, keeping your heart with vigilance, being alert, you know, just like that podcast, um, said that nothing can remain in my mind without my permission. Nothing can remain in your heart without your permission. You are a gatekeeper. You are a guard. Okay. And so you have the authority, you have the responsibility to guard your heart, to keep your heart with vigilance, being alert, being attentive to what is coming in and what is coming out. And a way that you can figure out what's coming in and what's coming out is to look at what you're saying. Listen to what you're saying. Listen to what you are speaking. And not just what you're speaking because, you know, just like Jesus said in that, that scripture in that story in Luke is that 
out of the good treasure of a, of a heart, of a good heart, produces good fruit. And out of the evil treasure of an evil heart produces bad fruit. So what's fruit around you? What's, what's around you? What, what kind of production are you seeing? Because with multiplication, it's just taking what's already there and exponentially growing it. And so you really want to be attentive to that. You can figure out what's in your heart by looking at the fruit that's been produced around you and also by looking at and hearing the words that are coming out of your mouth. And so the final scripture that I want to encourage you guys with is one that is really important, especially if you don't have a relationship with Christ and if you're looking to deepen that relationship and to really grow as a woman of character and confidence, this is where it comes from. And it comes from relationship with Christ. And it says here in Romans chapter 10, and there's, there's a lot more that I can read. I'm just going to read the, the short version. And it says, verse 8, but what does it say? The word is near you and in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith, right? Faith in Christ. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. For it is with the heart for with the heart one believes and with the mouth one confesses and is saved so I hope this was encouraging to you guys all of those scriptures are going to be in the description box below and just remember that your mind and your heart are connected that the heart functions in three major ways by being a place where you can treasure things, by being um, a place where you can capture, <laughs> you can be captured by, and also a place where you can take, you can take heart. Um, and so be aware of those things, guard your heart with due diligence, be very conscious of what you're allowing to come in and come out. Take heart because God has overcome the world. Jesus has overcome the world, even in our troubles. And know that if you confess with your mouth and if you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, then you will be saved. You will live in eternity with him according to the Bible. And so, guys, there's so much more that I want to share with you. So be sure to stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already subscribed. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at C Squared Art, and I hope to see you guys. <laughs> I hope you see me in my next video. All right, guys. Bye-bye.